We are following breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Seahawks wide receiver Josh Gordon has been suspended indefinitely without pay for violating the NFL's policy on PEDs and substance abuse. Gordon did have one catch for 58 yards, also had a pass attempt that was picked off as well. But again, Josh Gordon suspended for violating PED and substance abuse policies. With more of the breaking news, I have Brady Quinn and Jamie Eisenberg with you here. Tommy Tran, so when we look at this, Brady, your immediate thoughts on Josh Gordon, the latest development. Uh, the first thing is, you hate to see it because he is a talented player, and this has been something he's been battling for quite some time, and you hope he gets the help that he needs, and he's able to, to come back if and when he's given another opportunity by the NFL. Uh, this has been an issue, though, not only just for him, but also for, for the Seattle Seahawks, when you look at some of the issues that some of their players have faced in the past. So, uh, look, New England maybe saw this coming. It's one of the reasons why they decided to move on from him, and, and you have to wonder, too, of some of the chatter during that period of time you know with him was where he's not quite as explosive he's not separating he's not the same player we saw a year ago you know maybe that spurred him into taking action or wanting to take something so he could become the player that you know maybe they saw in the past we obviously don't know all the details or the information yet uh, but but at this point in time it's, it's upsetting disappointing for the Seattle Seahawks as they try to make a playoff run it's a career lost you know, I mean, this guy flashed so much potential, so much star power. You go back to that 2015 season when he was just putting up numbers and looked like a future star in this league, and then this just continues to haunt him. You Just like you said, Brady, you hope he gets the help that he needs. I mean, Seattle, look, they, they took a chance on a guy that may have had the chance to reclaim some of that past glory. We just haven't seen it. Like you said, he's had a hard time separating and looking like that same type of player that we saw even at the beginning of last year. You know, he had some good moments with the Patriots last year when Gronk was out. Right. He was putting up over 100 yards per game on average for the Patriots. But this is just a scenario of talent lost, you know, and you hope he gets another chance. At this point, it's, it's hard to expect that given the, the history and what he's gone through. And so, you know, for Seattle, they'll, they'll move on with, you know, getting Tyler Lockett back to the level that we saw yesterday was huge for them. Uh, DK Metcalf's obviously been a great player. Jacob Hollister will have to step up his game a little bit. They've lost now two key pieces of their offense. You know, Rashad Penny with the ACL and, and now Josh Gordon. David Moore, Jerron Brown, these are two young players. Malik Turner, they're going to have to step up and, and hopefully help out Russell Wilson in this offense. If you look at Josh Gordon, too, and, and really where he fits within Brian Schottenheimer's system there in Seattle, to me, uh, he wasn't necessarily a jack-of-all-trades, but he could do a number of things at the wide receiver spot that gave us a little bit more flexibility ability. You know, DK Metcalf seems to be a guy they like to get the football to either downfield on some big plays or when he's isolated. Tyler Lockett clearly is their number one wide receiver. He can do a bunch of different things. He has a spe uh, speed to stretch the field vertically, but runs precision routes. Josh Gordon provided that experience, that ability to make the tough catch and contested coverage. He was kind of, to me, a guy that made some sense for the intermediate routes or getting that tough catch on third down. Something that, I'm not saying that DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett couldn't do, but you, know, you can find ways of bracketing two wide receivers. It's really hard then, because you can't really double three yeah. unless you're only rushing three. So, uh, for that reason, I think, just from a game, can a game plan scheming standpoint, it, it takes away a little bit of that effectiveness, I think, in the passing game for Russell Wilson. It's interesting because when you watch Josh Gordon play, it seems like he has at least won a game that you go, man, that was what we talk about, the Josh Gordon with the immense talent, uh, the separation on, a, on occasion in plays. And I know you guys have been talking about sort of the loss on the field. It'd be a great question for a guy who's got Pioli, but Brady, for instance, you know, him having troubles at New England, not staying there, Seattle not staying there. We've had one of the stable franchises right yeah. now. If you were a teammate, though, how do you handle a situation? Obviously, now this latest news, but when he was coming in, knowing his background, a little bit of his history to approach a teammate like that. Well, just to speak from the standpoint of the Seattle Seahawks uh, organization and their environment there, it is the most unique that you will ever find in the NFL. Um, I was spent some time there from the beginning of free agency to, to the last cut in camp, so it was about four and a half months, five months there. And I got to tell you, I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I went in thinking that I wasn't going to like Pete. Carroll hated him during my time playing in college and then I got that I realized this was the most open welcoming group I'd ever been involved with and it was a group that was centered around all the players being accountable accountable for their actions on and off the field and it was one of the most accepting groups that you'd ever find where guys would speak up and guys would really take ownership over again what what we saw on the field but also what was talked about in the locker room so uh, the, the hard thing for me now looking at this situation with Josh Gordon is if he couldn't make it work in Seattle a place like that that is so open and so welcoming and has such a good culture in that locker room, it, it makes me think it's going to be hard for him to make it work wherever else that is because that organization will goes above and beyond to make sure they provide for their players to give them the best opportunity to succeed. New England, too? I mean, you know, talk about structure. 
Yeah. Yeah. Different, different. different. I was never a part of that, but yeah. but different as far as how you you hear sure. players when they leave. But there. but I'm just in terms of you stability. Know, stability, structure. You know, uh, leadership down. You know, where players are, are, are sort of held accountable in a different regard, like you're saying. Uh, it, it, it's hard to expect him to be uh, on a team again. At, at this point, he's not getting younger. His skills are deteriorating. And now you have just more baggage that you have to deal with with him. So it's just, it's just such a sad story when you look at what his career could have been and where it's ending up right now. Yeah. All right, if we hear more news again in regards to Josh Gordon, we'll deliver that to you again on the breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ.